Now, a, a lively debate has formed on social media and other platforms regarding the role of current president Nangolo Mbumba and whether Namibia's fourth president is deemed substantive or not. With opinions divided, legal analyst Stephen Ndorokade weighs in on the emerging narrative suggesting that Dr. Mbumba, who was sworn in according to Article 29.4a and 34 of the Namibian Constitution, is merely acting in that role. To discuss this matter and explore whether that argument holds any water, we're joined by Stephen in studio. Very good afternoon to you, Mr. Ndorokade. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Now, we, we, you, you've said in an argument um, that the sitting president, or rather you've said that the argument that the sitting president is acting, um, and this is flawed on, on a number of levels. How can you perhaps elaborate and just offer some form of clarity regarding that? All right, there are two main provisions in terms of our constitution that we should have regard to, and you've mentioned them. It's Article 29, 4A, mm -hmm. which is relevant now. Now, when you look at Article 29, all it does really, it seeks to provide for when there is a vacancy in the office of the president, that that vacancy is filled. And it says so in no uncertain terms. It says that the sh such a vacancy shall be filled. And then it provides two scenarios. If the vacancy occurs 12 months, within 12 months leading to the next elections, then it provides what needs to happen. If the period is longer than 12 months, it also provides what needs to happen. What is relevant for us now is the, that incident occurring less than 12 months leading to the next election. And then it says, the person as indicated in terms of Article 34 shall fill that vacancy. And the important word here is fill mm. that vacancy. It recognizes that there is a vacancy and such a vacancy shall be filled. Yeah. And then it refers to Article 34. Now what Article 34 then does, it, it addresses the question as to who. Because in there is a list in a particular order of how those uh, people would qualify and would follow each other in filling this position. It uh, then lists the, the vice president, prime minister, deputy prime minister, and anybody else then appointed by a cabinet. Now That's you, the order. Yeah. And when you then give effect to 29 and 34, that means that that position has been filled. Mm. Now, the, the, the component that uh, the, 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 or there are instances where the constitution does speak of instilling and acting a president. Um, tell us more about that and how does that differ from the current situation? Yes, it, it does so. In 29, at, in, rather in Article 28, mm. uh, when it talks about the, the functions of the vice president, it says the vice president shall deputize, and deputize here means stand in for the president, mm. amongst other things, assist and all of that. Because further on in the same provision, it also speaks to the fact that when the vice president is acting as president, as acting president, shall then also be entitled to the immunity that goes with anybody acting as a president. So that's the acting instance, one of them mm. that it refers to. Further on, in Article 28, 2C, it also refers to an, insta in a, to an instance where after elections, somebody would have been voted as president-elect for one or other reason, on the day that they are not supposed to assume office, they are unable to do so. That provision provides for the fact that the vice president shall then be acting as president to allow for the subsequent election of the president that would then come in. Okay. There is another instance when it talks about an acting president. Mm. Further on, in Article 34.2, it also then allows the president to appoint anybody else to act. And it says, in the absence of the vice president, deputy uh, prime minister, deputy prime minister, the president may appoint any other minister for a particular purpose to act as president. And such shall then be done in such a capacity. And when it refers to this, it refers to that person to be in an acting capacity. For instance, when you have regard to Article 28 2C, it specifically says that that person, the vice president in this case, shall be acting in an acting capacity. To, to perform the functions of the president while now you are organizing for election because the person that was then elected cannot assume office as expected. Mm. Those are the instances and the language is different. Yeah. Okay, before I let you go, you, you wrote an opinion piece recently and you referred to the late justice uh, or chief justice uh, Ishmael Mohammed's interpretation of the Namibian constitution. How does this then speak to, to the earlier point that you stated? Yes, he still speaks to us. Mm. He still speaks to us from the grave and he gives us cancer. And what he says is that the Constitution, although it might have been enacted like any other uh, piece of legislation, is a special piece of legislation because what it does, it captures the ideals of a nation. And therefore, when somebody is interpreting it, particular regard must be had to it. And the advice that he gives us is that the interpretation approach must be broad, 
liberal and repulsive. Mm. What it tells you is that at the end of it, well, regardless of the grammar, regardless of the words used, you must look at what was the purpose of this particular provision. And that is what he's really telling us. And there is very relevant when you look at um, uh, the provision of uh, Article 34.1. Because 34.1 says, it lists the people that would then take office and then it says, act as president. Now, some people are reading that to say, such a person shall become an acting president. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, act in that instance is being used as a verb. It could have been said, serve as president, mm -hmm. work as president, perform as president. And therefore, when you look at it, like I said, 29 speaks about what and proposes the process to be followed. Whereas 34's purpose is really to identify the number of people and it addresses the who part of that equation mm -hmm. as to who should take over. In my view, the, we have uh, uh, sworn in on the, 4th of, uh, on the 4th of February the fourth Namibian president. Say it otherwise, a fourth person has taken oath to the office of the president. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Stephen, for your insights. Thank you much. I appreciate it. That was uh, Stephen Ndoroka there offering some analysis and uh, insights on the debate regarding the, the issue of the acting president or 